meaning humanity, right, comes first, not things. I don't believe that. You know? Let me take you back to the album, Ken. Um, yeah. You're famous for your love songs, and the journey has some classic love songs on there. Great arrangement. So, so yeah. tell me through the, the, the love songs. Tell me. I like I Just Can't Run. Oh, I Just beautiful. Can't Hide from this feeling I have inside. Yes, it's love, you know. And um, I said, love is lovely and it is ugly. Things like that. Um, uh, I, I, I love to sing love songs because I think the ultimate, right? When it comes to, to liberty, it's going to be love. It's song of love can bring us together. So um, I always will defend love, a love song, because when all the wars and and this all of this negativity, it have to over one day, you know. So what are we going to turn to? Love. So that's why I look at it. We, we, we love the energy that you you put into. I can't turn you loose. Of course, Otis Redding. Oh, yes. You know, the, song, yes. talk to me about that. Otis Redding is one of my inspiration. I always love Otis Redding and when I was doing this album I've been singing this song from I was a teenager, a teenager because we used to have a band we called the Conscious Mind with um, BBC in playing guitar, Joe White playing piano and they had a Joe from Gaylas playing bass, Stewie and John and I used to play like a keyboard and then you have a guy named Sean was on drum, but Slim Smith, before he died, he used to play the drum. Yeah, he's a drummer, you know, Slim Smith. And so um, we, I used to do that song on any show that we do. Because when you do it live, can't turn you loose. You know, if you hear the version of what you're you know, when you do it live, it's something else. And I used to do it live, and I, I fell in love with that song over the years. And when I, when, when, when I, thinking about what to do on this album. That's one of the songs that comes to me. Can't Turn You Loose, a beautiful love song. Can't turn you loose, if I do, I lose my mind. Keep singing about it. I can't turn you loose, girl. If I do, I lose my mind. Huh? No, I can't turn you loose to nobody. You know what I mean? I love you, baby, yes I do. Ooh, yo, keep shaking, woman, I told you. Huh? Got to give you everything that you want. Keep shaking, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> whoa, whoa. A wicked, sexy love song. <laughs> of course, of course. I in. Can never forget one of the greatest singer and writer of our time. Yeah, well. Let me talk about your, your writing, which um, you, you've produced some gems over the years. Yeah. Um, how, how and what do you do to get ideas nowadays? Because one would have thought that uh, all the ideas, you've already used them already. You know, funny enough, you know, to be frank with you, I would say it's a blessing because I'm not as well learned when it comes to curriculum. I'm not as well learned as some other people do. I've been going to no college or anything like that. And, and um, I know about a composition, you know. Um, and so um, that's what God gave me to do. And so because of music now, I realize that a composition is a key part to, to writing a song. And so um, if, if, if when I start to write a song, right, right, in script, right, you know, I don't know much about giant up business much. I don't know, I know about script a lot, but so when I start writing a song, if I can finish that song on my own, I'll do it. Like like my, my wife, she went away the other day and um for for a green card and I got lonely at my home and I wrote a song. I wrote a song um, Now I know how much I love you. Now I know how much I care Since you've been gone This house is not the same Oh Lord, I pray For your return Every night I dream about you Just open and praying For you to come home You know, it's, 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 it, you know it, I was at my woman I missed her, you know sure. And this is what comes up to me And I wrote it yeah. You know, so 
ideas come in many different kind of ways. Yeah, of course, of and course. you can search for ideas. Yeah. And then I think about ideas too. You can, you can, you, you, you're writing a song and you just don't feel that, that melody, mm -hmm. you know? And melody, melody don't, don't go away, you know? If you don't use that melody, mm -hmm. it's in the atmosphere. So another singer yeah. somewhere will be writing a song yes, yes. and catch on to that melody. Yes. And probably he's the right one to deal with that so melody. The universe has that. For, you understand? Yeah. So I don't, if I find I have a melody and, and it's not working with me, mm -hmm. I just find another melody. You know, so. Yeah. But um, I'm not a writer. Mm -hmm. You know, because what people need to know, right, in this business that you have writers and you have singers. Mm -hmm. I would say I'm more a singer. Yeah. But I, I wrote a lot of my songs. Indeed. Because, Indeed. for instance, like Freedom Street. Mm -hmm. When I started, I, I, I was living in Jonestown at my sister's home. She was living in England. Mm -hmm. And she bought that home, and me and my wife ended up living there. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a situation that took place during that time with, with, a, with a, a certain prime minister. And he was saying things that were negative. And Freedom Street come right up to me. Because they were saying, like, when you see people on the street, you don't question, you just do as you like with people. And, and, and so I said, let's not fight, let's not quarrel, let's get together, we all can unite and take these chains from off our feet because we're going to walk on Freedom Street. Now when I start writing that song, when I reach a certain point, I realize that it needs somebody else. That's why you have Linda Greed and singers, in, writers in America that wrote song together. So I, I think about B.B. Seaton because he's one of the outstanding writers, you know in Jamaica, yes. right, uh, right, from the, right. And so I, I took it to him, and he put the, the other verse into it, and it becomes a, such a worldwide song. It, 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 it's, it's, a, it's, it's an anthem, it's always relevant, you know. Absolutely. In, in every, whatever taking place in the world, that song, until, right, people realize that war is ugly and love is lovely before you can put away those songs. Hmm? You know, one thing about your songs, you know, Ken, um, I guess it's fair to say they're universal because um, we met some people at uh, your, your, your show from, from um, Norway, from China, yeah. you know, yeah. from, from all over the place. Yeah. And it just goes to show a little island like Jamaica and Ken Booth writing a song called Freedom Street yes. touches somebody's yes. heart yes. Yes. in, in, in mind, yeah. And that's why we need to be humble, you know, singers and players of instruments. Because when you look and see how people embraced, you know, to know it's an island, as you said, and people love, love the music from Jamaica so much, we must not take it for granted. Because it's a message and, and people absorb it, you know, and so we must know what we're doing when it comes to your fellow men. It's not, it's not just a gloom. Or, or, you know, like a Broadway thing, you see a lot of lights and, you know, and things. it's not just that. Not, not just the, 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 the performing and the, and, and, and the glitter and the, no, it's nothing like that. It's, it's something, I think that music should, should uplift one's mind, you know. It doesn't matter what category the music are into. If it's a love song. Uh, well, you know, contemporary thing and message and record it. We must must be humble with it, you know, because, you know, I always say that, that um, if you, right, people, if, if somebody loves you as a, as a singer, all right, or a musician, and, and, and they realize that you're not living what you're doing, they can break that CD up you know, and throw it away. You know, so we, we, have to, we have to be humble and I, I, I'm not perfect, but I try to live what I sing. I guess we all make mistakes, but it's just, just yeah. that... Um, we try to hang on to the positive more yes, yes. than the negative. So, um, you know, I, I love what I do so much. And, and when I see people react to what you're doing, this is what makes me more humble. You know, and I, sometimes... I try to please people when I'm at a show so much that someone have to say, Ken, you know, it's enough now. Because I don't love to say no 
Because when these, you don't know where these people come from, some of them come from hundreds of miles just to come and see you, thousands of miles to see you perform. So I always try to give up myself you know, in that way. Let, let me ask you about back to, to, to the to journey, which, um, I mean, what is the ultimate you want people to get from this album? What is it? Because here you are, you've done so many albums and songs in, in the past, and here you are um, in the 21st century. Yes, you know, oh, and uh, indeed a journey. Yeah. What, what is the ultimate you want people to get from this album? Especially those who don't know nothing about Kendo. Right, right. you know, um, is, is to know that I'm here, I'm alive, you know, and I'm well, and, and I don't want to, to live in the past 100. You know, because as I said, I'm alive. So I have to do new works, and for 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 the generation of people who have never heard about Ken Bood, I think this album will will, will, will they will they, they are here. They can hear this album now and know who Ken Bood is about or what Ken Bood is about. So, but I I'm, I do it mostly for the love of the music. You know, because I can't be here and and alive and not doing new works. And, you know, and, and the new generation that have the music in their hands, right? I like the music, but I, I'm not defending some of it. Well, not the music itself, but verbally speaking. Some of it is not up to date for, ch for children's ears, for the listening ears of children. And so so I, I want to be a part of it, but I'm not going to drop my standard. So, so um, I have like... Yeah. Hey, dance so girl, you know, mm, you're out of this world, you know, hey, when you shake your body line, oh, it makes me feel so fine, you know, dance all girl, you know, and it have a dance hour in with it, so um, I'm not fighting music, so, but, but I'm here and alive, and I have to do new works, because the other day I was listening to a program and they were talking about artists from my time who are doing new material. And they mentioned, Marcy have a new album out, I have one out, and well then, Freddie have one out, just released. And it, 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 it do something for our era to show that we, we can still involved in whatever era, you know, still relevant, you know, so. I must thank God for that. That we guys are still showing that we still is a force, no matter what changes the music make. You know, yes, yes. You know, you have a track on the album um, where you talk about um, the 400 years. Yes. You know, sure. which um, a lot of people need to listen to, and and because it's about our education and history. You know, and you're still as keen to make people know about the past as well as the future and what we need to do. So tell me about that particular song. Uh, you know, funny enough, you know, um, I wrote that song when I see you know, the system is working right now in Jamaica. A lot of people out of jobs. And um, I don't know if it's a part of the New World Order. You know, but I know that a lot of people can't get work and, and people are closing doors. You know, um, locking out people out of opportunity and privilege, you know, and so I wrote that song. 